Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph. Today's video, we're going to be, you know, raw processing a raw file that was shot with natural light inside Capture One. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have had a couple of conversations with people concerning raw files and the fact that they don't like to give their raw files out, especially if it's not being paid for. I agree with that. I don't like to give out my raw files. If you want them, then it means that you're buying them from me. And the reason why I do that is just for quality control. Because yes, like in the past, people were not giving out their negatives. If you took a picture on film, the photographer is the one responsible for developing the film, doing his dodging and burning and coloring the images. You, the client, have no say as to the direction that is going to go. The photographer has that entire uh, say. And it's the same thing. Even though it's digital now, you still have a raw file and you are in your dark room on your computer post-processing it to your uh, to the way that you want to creatively move that image to. And even if a client is hiring you, they are hiring you because of your style, because of what they've seen you do, and then they are trusting that you're going to create those same aesthetics for them, right? But maybe you just make a few adjustments to suit their brand. Now, if you give out the raw files, you're giving authority or power to anybody else to really process the images in any way that they like. It may not fully represent your capability or your visual aesthetic but then you you just essentially gave that authority away so i'd like to know in the comments down below what you guys think about giving raw files to clients i mean you can sell it off if they are doing like a total buyout that's absolutely fine because then again they're buying the rights from you so you don't own those images again and then it doesn't represent you in any way but then it's just like when you're paid to do a photo shoot and people are asking you for raw files i don't give it because i know that you're going to tweak it and it's not going to represent me in the best light so it's just a form of quality control for me but then if you still want the raw files i will sell them to you and then it wouldn't represent me on my work anymore but let me know again in the comments how you guys feel about that I genuinely want to know um, the way you guys feel about it so starting off what I want to do is essentially enable my before and after because I know that I will be sliding back and forth between that a lot so let me just pack it here in the beginning and the first thing I want to do actually is start with my white balance. I feel like this image will really benefit from warmth. And so I just want to warm this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go to, let's say, somewhere around here. I think the warmth is quite okay at this point, right? I'm not gonna touch the tint. I'm just gonna leave it right there i'm just looking at the numbers and also looking at the image i think this looks good to my eyes so here's a before and after already is warming up the image and i really like the direction i'm going with this right all right i also like to change my um, icc profile in capture one a lot but i know that it's not everyone that has access to icc profiles so i'm not going to touch that i'll just leave it as it is let's go on to exposure and then see if we can make a couple of adjustments here so first of all i feel like the image overall is too bright right and i just want to bring it down maybe by a full stop even because the more you darken images the more tone and the more colors you get out of them and i feel like this image will really look good if i'm able to you know bring the exposure down quite a bit yeah i think somewhere like this is good i'm also going to decrease the contrast because i feel like the transition between the highlights and the shadows especially even in the mid-tones it's just too sharp for me so i'm just bringing down the contrast a little bit it's just going to reduce that harshness between the transitions and i think i'm going to leave it somewhere here i'm also going to desaturate it because i want to pull some of the colors later on myself i'm leaning more towards like a cinematic feel if you get me i want it to look like it's um a still from a video or something and you know when you're shooting with like cinema cameras, the roll off between your highlights and mid-tones and shadows is always very smooth. And so these adjustments I'm making, I'm just keeping it subtle so that I can, you know, have that film look in a way. I'm not going to add any textures to give it that film look, but I just want all the gradations to be smooth and, and to be less aggressive. Because if you look here, you can see the highlights are <laughs> over the top, the contrast is all over the place. Even the colors don't look rich, but looking at this already, you can tell that it's looking soft, it's looking 
warm and it has a very inviting vibe all right now i'm gonna move on into the high dynamic range and over here what i want to play with is going to be my highlights my shadows stuff like that right but i'm going to bring the highlights down a lot and you can see in the top right corner where the sky is that as i'm doing that we are beginning to bring that color back and it's not really affecting hair a lot it's just targeting the highlights in there and maybe just a little bit of the top of the wood so i need to find like a very good balance so that i can you know target the highlights that i need and then bring that detail back so that's all i'm trying to do here just bringing it down to the point where it looks good i think somewhere here is just okay and because i did that i just want to open up the shadows a little bit and this is just going to bring more life into the image just a tiny bit all right so i'm just going to bring my shadows up somewhere here i think this looks good and you can see that already we are beginning to add more definition the colors are even looking better themselves this is looking really really good now that i've done all of this i think i'm just gonna go straight into levels because i feel like again we've lost that contrast that we had in the beginning and i really liked it but i just didn't want it to be very aggressive right so looking at my levels you can see that already we have the darkness quite dark and the image underexposed because the histogram is moving all the way to the left what i want to do is just you know darken the blacks even more but not so much and what I would rather do is just bring in the highlights so that we can bring more vibrance to the image. So I'm just going to go down maybe somewhere around here. And you can see that now we've opened up the image a bit. It's a little brighter, but we still have that subtle film look going on. Maybe I think I brought it in a little bit too much. So I'm just going to bring that down so that we don't have it looking too bright. Okay. So from there, we're going to play with the colors even more, just a little bit actually, all right? So I'm gonna start off with the reds. And in the reds, I know it's going to be affecting her dress mainly. So what I want to do is just up the saturation of that just a tiny bit, bring more life into that. And I'm also just going to reduce its lightness value, all right? So I'm gonna take it down a notch, maybe, maybe not so much, maybe somewhere around here. I'm going to go into the warm tones and if you don't know exactly what it's targeting you can just go all the way you can see it's in here skin it's also on the ground it's on the tree trunk so i just want to move it a tiny bit to the right i'm also going to up the saturation just like that and reduce the lightness just a little bit actually reduce the saturation even more i'm going to go into the yellows and over here you can see that it's affecting a bit of the background especially and i just want to keep that green in there i'm just going to up it like that maybe reduce the saturation and also reduce the lightness right i'm going to target the trees in the back and what i want to do is i want to shift the color a bit more towards green so we have a bit of color contrast going on so her dress and the background are going to really complement each other that way right i'm going to up the saturation and i'm going to reduce the lightness of that so if we do it before and after you can see that we've really brought life that filmic vintage feel to the image and i absolutely love it right let's just see if we can get a bit more of the sky so yeah just adding that is adding a bit of saturation to that i don't want it to be too much somewhere like so maybe even change the color just a tiny bit and bring the saturation down again i don't want it to to be too too visible i'm going to go back into where her skin tone is and i'll just reduce the saturation of that and also just open up the lightness just a little bit if we do it before and after you can see that this image really stands out it's very beautiful i'm going to go back into exposure actually high dynamic range and still open up the shadows even more and maybe just bring the highlights back a little bit and maybe just reduce the contrast that i did it was at 10 i'm bringing it to 7 and maybe also set the white balance maybe i can just get it a little bit warmer i was trying to reduce it but i feel adding a bit more just gives it more life so this pretty much is what i've done inside of capture one here's a before here's an after before 
after. If I zoom into the image a little bit, here is before, here is after. You can see the colors look rich, the skin tone looks rich. It's just looking fuller overall in my opinion. What I want to do last is just add a bit of film grain to the image. And I'm going to go into sharpening. I know Capture One automatically adds sharpening and I think I'm just gonna reduce that sharpening so that we have a softer look. Let me just go back here. Let's look more at hair before, after, before, after. Yeah, I really, really like the way we've been able to fine tune this image. So again, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this. If we've been able to, you know, post process the raw file to a very, very good point, let me know. So yeah, this pretty much ends today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. I hope you learned a little bit about Capture One. If you've been scared about it, you can see you just need to push and pull sliders around and you will get amazing results. Let me know how you feel about this uh, raw processing that I did on the raw file. Again, here's a before, here's an after. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And remember, don't ever give up.